case you did not, um, you know, you did not review the lessons. So I just played a tape about the life of a hard working future king for you. So here, listen, and you can practice along, guys. Okay, here we go. The life of a hard working future king. His eccentric habits are known to the world, but the Prince of Wales has every reason to feel content. A man with wide interests and deep passions. He is finally happily married, Daniel Kahn reports. Interests and passions. Prince Charles is often portrayed as bad-tempered and spoilt. There are stories that every day seven eggs are boiled for his breakfast so that he can find one that is cooked just the way he likes it. His toothpaste is squeezed onto his toothbrush for him and his bath towel is folded over a chair in a particular way for when he gets out of his royal bath. He has an enormous private staff secretaries, deputy secretaries, press officers, four valets, two butlers, housekeepers, two chefs, two chauffeurs, ten gardeners, an army of porters, handymen, cleaners and maids. They are expected to get everything right. When HRH, His Royal Highness, feels they have performed their duties well, they are praised in a royal memo. But if they have made mistakes, they are called into his study and told off. The prince can get so angry that he has been known to have tantrums, throwing things and screaming with rage. The private and public man. Charles is eccentric and he admits it. He talks to trees and plants. He wants to save wildlife, but enjoys hunting, shooting and fishing. He dresses for dinner, even if he's eating alone. He's a great socializer. Poets, artists, writers, broadcasters, politicians, actors and singers all eat at his table. Arriving at Highgrove, his family home, on a Saturday afternoon in time for a stiff martini, guests are entertained in the height of luxury. They are then sent on their way before lunch on Sunday, having been shown round his beautifully kept gardens. The Prince also entertains extravagantly at Sandringham, one of the Queen's homes, at least twice a year. There are picnic lunches on the beach, expeditions to local churches, and lavish dinners with organic food from Highgrove. Conversation is lively, but the heir to the throne has to be careful what he says because he knows only too well that anything he says in private may be repeated in public. The future monarch that we don't see is a man of great humour who cares passionately about the state of the British nation and is devoted to his two children, William and Harry. He is madly in love with his darling wife which is how he refers to Camilla in public. Royal duties. A dutiful life. Together, Charles and Camilla perform royal duties, both at home and abroad. He attends over 500 public engagements a year. He visits hospitals, youth groups, performing artists, charities and business conferences. He hosts receptions to welcome visiting heads of state and VIPs. He travels abroad extensively as an ambassador to the United Kingdom, representing trade and industry. He works hard to promote greater understanding between different religions. He is also president of the Prince's Charities, which are active in promoting education, business, the environment, the arts, and opportunities for young people. The group raises over a hundred and ten million pounds annually. Camilla shares Charles's passion for hunting and also his interest in conservation of towns and countryside. The one thing she leaves to Charles is skiing. She prefers to stay at home when he makes his annual trip to Cloisters in Switzerland. Everything except the top job. Since his second marriage,
Prince Charles has everything he wants except, as Diana, who was killed in a car accident in 1997 used to call it, the top job. Yet despite not being on the throne, he has worked hard to accomplish so much. He is concerned about the state of the country he loves, and shows his frustration that governments do little to tackle those problems about which he feels so strongly. The Prince of Wales has his own food company, Dutchy Originals. It originally sold biscuits, but is now expanding to become one of Britain's best known and most successful organic brands, with over 200 different products, including food, drinks and hair and body care products. Charles, well-intentioned, hard-working, conservative and old-fashioned, continues to do his duty as he sees it. But he is no longer alone. One day he will be king, and his darling Camilla will be HRH, the Princess Consort. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I just play uh, the reading again for, for you guys. Uh, we also have to wait for your classmate, correct? And um, the best way to wait for your friend is to review our lessons, especially with uh, the reading. I don't know how often you have uh, practiced reading. For me, reading is the most important skill that you need to master. The more you read, the more you get the idea. The more you read, the more you improve your pronunciations. Okay? And the more you read, the more you uh, you become less lazy. If you don't read, you become lazier, you know? That is important. And the more you read, the more you want to study. Okay, so now we continue our lesson to this uh, exercise. Which of these adjectives are positive and which are negative? So what, what we mean by positive? We translate some word for you. Okay, what we mean by positive, uh, like this. And this one is, And normally the logo for this one is like this, and the logo for this one is like this, correct? So hardworking is positive. Hardworking is positive, right? How about the other? So before we do this exercise, let's read together first. Hardworking, bad temper, spoiled, eccentric, old fashioned, sociable, cautious, Passionate, frustrated, successful, well intentioned. Okay, let me read for you again. Hard working, bad temper, spoiled, eccentric, old fashioned, cautious, sorry, sociable, cautious, passionate, frustrated, successful, well intentioned. Okay, so when the balls uh, sorry, yeah, can you read again, please? Hard working, bad temper, spoil, eccentric, old fashioned, sociable, cautious, passionate, frustrated, successful, well intentioned. Okay, so we, we have one example here. Hardworking is positive. How about bad temper? Positive or negative? Everyone? Negative. Okay, this one must be negative, right? Okay. Bad feeling normally we say. Spoiled? Positive. Is it positive or negative? In positive. Uh, if you are a spoy kid, you can do whatever you want. You are not afraid of your parents. You don't care about their feeling. If you want to get new iPhone, you ask your mom to get a new iPhone. If they don't buy for you, you angry with them. You cry. You shout. Okay. You must get what you want. So, is it positive or negative? Oh, negative. Negative. 
<laughs> it must be negative, okay. right? How about eccentric? Yeah, you know eccentric. What does it mean? So if one, if you are an if you are eccentric, you talk to the tree, you talk to animal, you talk to the dog, for example. You walk and talk alone. You do something that no more people don't do. So is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative, negative right? You, you, you are different from the other people. You look different. You do something differently, right? Okay, that is, yeah, possibly negative. How about old fashioned? Old fashioned, negative. Old fashioned, you now in 2021, but you like to wear the clothes that uh, uh, the clothes which is from French colonial, Pol Pot regime, or whatever. So you can say old fashioned, right? But some people say this is, uh, uh, you can say this is negative, but some people say it is positive. You can save money and you can preserve our tradition. All right, how about sociable? Sociable is similar to the word friendly. You like to join the, the meeting. You like to go and join in uh, community work, right? Party, you like to smile, you like to talk to people. So what is it? Positive. Must be positive. How about cautious? Cautious synonym is be careful. Be careful. Positive. So what is it? Positive, right? OK, how about passionate? When you are passionate and doing something, you do it nonstop. You want to to be able to 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 get what you want. For example, you are passionate in learning English because you want to speak English very well. So you're going to spend day and days and hours and hours to study English and you have to make sure that you're going to be able to speak. So passionate, is it positive or negative? Positive. Yeah, it can be positive, right? It's similar to the word one, but this one, it is more, you know, not just one and you don't do it. Passionate, you want and you do it. OK, how about frustrated? Frustrated. Negative. This one is negative. You are not happy, right? Negative. Yeah, negative, right? You are not happy. You uh, you expect something. You hope something to happen, but nothing happened. For example, uh, Srengi, on your birthday, you hope that you expect that your boyfriend's gonna give you a, a good gift, but your boyfriend say, "Oh, sorry, honey, I forgot. Today is your birthday," and then you feel frustrated. Yeah, Singhi, correct? But like I don't have boyfriend. Okay, all right, sorry. I just make an example. Okay. How about successful? Positive teacher. It must be positive, it means you get what you want, right? You want to become, you want to become an, an IT manager. Some of you study IT. And after you study for four years, you become an IT manager. That is, you are a successful student. Remember, if you want to become a successful student, you must work hard. You have to spend time to study. You have to read more books. You have to do the research. That would help you a lot to be a successful learner and a successful student. And the last one, well intention. Well intention. Positive teacher. Yeah, this one positive. And what intention I translate for you, I think the monk need to learn this one. Yeah? And well mean good. And then you translate like this. Well intention. Okay. So let me read for you again. Hard working. Bad temper. Spoiled. Eccentric. Old fashioned. Sociable, cautious, passionate, 
frustrated, successful, well intentioned. Okay, so before we continue, let's read this one again. So I would like to ask Sawai, can you read again, please? Yeah, teacher. Hard working, bad temper, spoil, eccentric, old fashion, sociable, cautious. 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 Passive. Passionate, fast, fast, uh, frustrated, frustrated, successful, well intentioned, well intentioned. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So, do you still have any question with this exercise, everyone? Hello. Hello, everyone. Any question about this? No, teacher. Is it noisy, everyone? Uh, my place, I mean, my neighbor, they turn on their music very loudly. Do you hear the music? No, it's okay, John. It's okay, right? I'm so sorry for that, you know. Because my neighbor always uh, turn on their music, especially this time. But I have no choice, you know. <laughs> have to listen to them. So crazy. Okay, now let's continue. We continue to this page. Right. Vocabulary and speaking, free time activities. Okay, now I want to ask you some questions. Let's start with Mr. Pisat. Pisat, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I like to play with all game. <laughs> oh, play with all game. Can you give me three, 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 three of, of your activity that um, you like to do when you play, are not uh, uh, when, uh, In my free time, I like to play with all game, uh, do it aside. Do it and aside. Sometimes I prepare my room, clean my room. You clean your room, okay. Yeah. But Playing video game is your favorite activity, right? Yes, sir. Do you earn money from from it? No, I didn't have. Oh, some people they earn money from the game, you know. Yes, sir. Why do you play it? Oh, uh, because when I relax from my exercise about math or physics, I always play. Oh, you always play it. How yeah. how long do you play the game a day? Around one hour, sir. So. How how long do you study? Oh, for math exercise and physics exercise, four hour. Okay, so you play one hour every day. Yeah. Wow. How about now? You don't have math and physics. Now you don't study math and physics, correct? No, I just study. Oh, you study? Both you I physics? study engineering. Oh, you study so engineering? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. All right, all right, all right. I don't know. I thought you were studying IT or law or anything else. So engineering, you still study math and physics. Yes. Okay, sir. very good, very good. All right, please keep up. You can play, no problem. But you have to study as well. Okay, now I want to ask Mr. Kumho. Hello, come home. Yes, teacher. Yeah, give us three activities that you like to do when you are not working or studying. Uh, I I go skydiving. Skydiving? Where? <laughs> Where can you go skydiving in <laughs> Baton Bomb, Cambodia? <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> no, you you have to give the real information now this time, not, not skydiving. <laughs> I I I play football. Okay, play football. I watch movie. Watch movie. And gossip. And gossip. Yes, sir. You gossip, your friend. 
Good. Yeah. No, sir. Gossip what, what about the movie. I gossip about the movie. Oh, the gossip. What what do we say? Not gossip that one. What we say like uh, you just talk and discuss about the movie, correct? Yes, yes, yes. A better word, not gossip. Gossip is not a good word, and it is not good for a man as well to uh, always gossip. Okay, thank you very much. I would like to ask the man. I want to know from vulnerable Makara. Okay, what yeah. activities do you like to do when you are not working or studying? Of the breakfast, teacher. Oh, eating breakfast is your daily activity. You cannot avoid. But this one we're talking about your hobby, your favorite activities when you are not working or studying. Um, I would like to uh, review some of them because okay, I can do the review. What else? Review lesson and. Uh, don't know what to do. Like to take a nap. Take a nap or sleep a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that's... sleep a lot. You like and sleeping? Or... I, I, uh, do you play game? Well. Do you play game? No. Yeah? No. No, you don't. Okay. All right. It is not bad to play game, but you know, if you you study okay. IT. If you study I, IT, I, you you may uh, you know uh, you more into like we call design or graphic design, and uh, those you know games and other thing can help you you know inspire you a lot, especially with the graphic designs and the animation and other thing. You can look them out. But we don't just don't play too much. I mean, if you want to see so, how. So I think, yes, I think it's good, but after that, I think it was uh, my time because it's yeah, 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 yeah. OK, you are right. It a waste of time. But uh, we learn something good from it. OK, don't don't get edited. Uh, don't 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 use it too much. Don't watch like movie. Don't watch it too much. Like sleep. Also, don't sleep too much. It is not good, right? Yeah. Same one thing. Day, one okay. Day. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. No problem. Okay. So number one, we I just talked to you about that, and then we look at this activity now. A. What is it? A. What kind of activity is it? Yeah. Camping. Camping. Yeah. This one we call camp. Camping, right? Camp. In Cambodia, do we like camping? Not many people go camping, right? But I think Mr. Lai Hong. Lai Hong. <laughs> Lai Hong is well. Okay. How about the second one? Picture B. Picture B, what is it? Cut vegetable. Oh, cut vegetable okay. for for fun or what? What what? Why do we cut? Cooking. Yeah. Cooking. Yeah, for cooking, right? You see, cooking. <laughs> cut vegetable. <laughs> okay, cooking. All right, and then how about the next one? Um, the next one, picture C. What is it? Yeah. Picture C we call DIY. So DIY here, uh, normally we do it your yourself. Okay. What what uh, what do you like to do uh, when you are not working? Oh, I like to do DIY at home. I mean, do something at home by yourself. You fixing, you repair the roof. You know, something broken at home. Okay. How about picture D? What is it? Painting. Okay, picture D is painting, right? Picture four. Oh, picture four. Picture E. Yep. You don't know. What is it? Is it clear for you? You want to make big? Is it clear for you? Not clear. What is it here?
Ya. Okay, this one you can say uh, farming, right? Can we say farming? Or you can say gardening. All right. Okay, how about picture F? What is it? Running. Running, right. Running. Oh, running the balloon. Running. Okay, how about picture H? Meditation. Meditation, right? Meditation. Oh, in Pali, if you want to know, vulnerable. Uh, Pali, uh, Samadhi, right? Samadhi. <laughs> this is Pali language. In Khmer, we call Pali. Okay, how about picture H? Hold the camera. Hold the camera. You, why don't we just say photographing, right? Photo. Graph. Thing, right? Okay, photographing. Okay, how about picture I? What is it? Yes. Playing Hello? tennis. Yes, playing tennis. Okay, playing tennis. How about picture J? Play with you long. <laughs> play with you long, right? Or this one, picture J, you just say the play, musical. Instrument. Okay. How about picture K? What is it? Ride a bike. Riding a bike, right? Okay, right. Or you can say go. Side. Cycling, okay? Or biking. Okay, picture L, the last one. Shopping. Shopping. Do you like shopping? Yeah. You really like shopping, right? especially the girls. I like to go to cosmic tech fashionable shop. But when you go to the market to buy fish, you don't want. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see the activity here again. Camping. Okay, this one camping. Picture B is cooking. This one DIY, do it yourself. Oh, I have the answer for you. If I know that, I don't need to uh, write. Okay, picture D, painting, and this one, gardening, this one, running or jogging, you can say, right? And this one, yoga or meditation, you also can say so, meditation, photography, play tennis, right? Playing an instruments, cycling and shopping. Okay, so number two here, we don't need, because we ask play alone, play together, no. So let's go to the next one. So I want you to... I want you to uh, have a look at uh, exercise three, okay? Now, which of these go with the activity? So we have, you know, something, something here in the box and they want you to match with the activity. I give you one example. Uh, I would say a Zoom, Zoom here match with letter H. Correct or not? Yeah? And I give you one more example. Uh, I would give you the word, what is it? Meditating, give my letter G. Okay, guys? Hello? Hello, yeah. it's yes. okay. Is it, it's okay for you. So if it is okay for you, I'm gonna give you five minutes to match whatever in the box here. It can be a TUT, a tool with the pictures. So I'm going to give you five minutes. So we check the answer at 606. OK, please do it now quietly.
Okay, so now time is up. Let's check together. A drill. A drill? Which one? A drill, let us see. Okay, very good. A drill, let us see. Okay, how about planting? Planting? Planting, letter E. Planting, uh, planting letter E, all right? Yeah. Okay. How about cell, the cells? The cells, letter? Letter L, teacher. The cell, letter L, okay. How about racket? Racket? Teacher, a, ra a racket? What, what does it mean? Uh, racket, you use the racket to play like tennis. You, know? <laughs> you look at this one. This one we call racket. Yeah? Letter I, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, very smart. Okay, how about concert? I'm so letter J. Letter J. Okay. How about sweating? Letter F. Okay, letter F. Well, yeah. letter F. Okay. How about letter letter I? Can sweat or not? Sweating or not? If you work alone, yeah. Also, I think. How about letter uh, hello K and letter yeah. I? Yeah. Okay. How about wearing a helmet? Letter G, right? Letter K, teacher. Oh, letter K. Sorry, not letter G. And do meditation. How about letter B? Okay, with wearing a helmet. You cook and you wear a helmet. <laughs> okay. Okay, how about screeching? Screeching. Screeching, letter D. Letter D. Screeching is similar to drawing, right? Okay, now for a recipe. A recipe. What is it, recipe? Cambodian recipe. Hello, everyone. B. Letter B. Okay, that's a B. B. Okay, serving an X. Serving an X. Letter. You know why? What do we call X here? This one we call X here, the ball here, the ball that do you use it to play a tennis. That one is called X. So, serving an X is letter? Letter I. Letter I. Okay, a sleeping bag. A. Sleeping bag is letter A. Okay, screwdriver. Screwdriver, yeah? Okay. Letter C actually, C? screwdriver. Right, like, yeah, you want to put a painting on a wall so you don't have, uh, you cannot use a nail to get to hang it. So you have to use a screwdriver and drill it, have you to hang the picture. Okay, how about a bargain? A bargain? Okay. L. L, right. The girl very good at bargaining. Keeping fit. Keeping fit a lot, right? You can say, okay, keeping fit can be a letter E also can. Oh, no, E is not, I guess. Would be letter F. Would be letter K. Also letter I. And also letter G, I think. G also keeping yourself fit if you do meditation. Okay, how about a torch? 
Touch. Right, let us see. Let us see. No, touch is like a flashlight. Flashlight. Age. It's your age. It's your age, right? Flashlight. At night, when you go camping, you don't have the lights in the mountain, so you need a flashlight. Okay, and the last one, reading. Reading, what is it? Letter A. Letter A, right. Reading is the grass. Very bad. Okay, so now let's read together again. A drill, planting, the sales, racket, a concert, zoom, sweating, wearing a helmet, screeching, a recipe, serving an eggs, a sleeping bag, a screwdriver, a bargain, keeping fit, meditating, a torch, reading. All right, so I would like to ask, uh, oh, Sukhmit just joined now. Okay, Sukhmit, can you read again, please? I'm like a teacher. Yeah. A grill, um, planting, the sale, a racket, a concern, zoom, swearing, wearing a helmet, sketching, a speed. Sewing, so an egg, a sleeping bag, a shoe, driver, a bagan, keeping feet, meditating, a torch wearing. Okay, reading. And this one, a recipe. Recipe, right? And this one, screwdriver. Okay, thank you very much. Now we can move to the next exercise. Uh, we have some word here. Complete the diagram about cooking with the word from the box. So word in the box here, we have the word boiling, to mix herbs and spices, a no vans, a roasting, olive oils, to chop, a casserole dish, mince meat, baking, a food processor, to weigh. All right, so now we have to complete this one in the diagram here. So we have this diagram about cooking and there are four groups we have equipments equipment food preparations ingredients way of cooking and each of them has one example a saucepan to peel eggs frying now they want you to put the words in the box here into this diagram can you do it by yourself everyone or if you have question, you can ask. If you don't have, I give you five minutes again to complete them. So we will five minutes. We will check the answer at 6.20. Okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah, thank you.
All right, so now time is up. Let's check the answer together. Let's start with the equipment. What are they? Everyone. Equipment, an oven. An oven. An oven. Okay. What else? A casserole dish. A casserole dish. And food processor. A food processor. Okay, very good. How about food preparation? In chalk. Uh, two. To chalk. Chalk. Okay. To okay, and then to weigh, to mix, right? To mix, to chops, and to weigh. How about ingredients? Banking. Mm -hmm. Herbs and spices. Uh, olive oils and minced meat. Ingredient. Okay. Ingredient. All right, ways of cooking, we have frying, boiling, roasting, baking. All right. Actually, equipment, we have more. We have like plate, we have a lot, right? They have uh, like, uh, what is it? Pains. They have like, what else? Knife. Right? Knife. Okay. So let me read for you again. Equipment, a saucepan, an oven, a casserole dish, a food processor, food preparation, to peel, to mix, to chop, to slice, uh, to weigh, to slice. Yeah, to slice. All right. Ingredients, eggs, herbs and spices, olive oils, min mix, beef, pork, fish, Right, ways of cooking, frying, boiling, roasting, baking, steaming, yeah. Steaming, correct like this. Yeah, steaming, grilling. Okay, so now I want uh, someone to read for me, please. I would like to ask Mr. Pisset, can you read again, please? Read the answer. Uh, <coughs> oh, sir. Uh, you can read uh, in the diagram here only. Yes. Um, equipment. A uh, saucepan, an uh, oven, a uh, casserole dish, a uh, food processor, food preparation, to peel, to make, to chop, to wage. Ingredient. Eight herbs and spice. Olive oil, mild meat, way of cooking, frying, boiling, roasting, baking. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have any question, everyone? Teacher, what different boiling and steaming? Uh, steaming is 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 more like boiling is like. I just do the transfer for you. It's easy. Something like this. And this one more like, like this. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. All right. If you don't have any more, then let's go to the next one. Uh, boiling, boiling and eggs. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Listen to John talking about his hobby. Hobby means favorite activities, right? Make notes under this heading. And when we talk about heading, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Favorite hobby, where and when he does it, clothes and equipment, what he likes about it, and the best bit, I mean the best time of it. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> the answer for you. Okay, so now let's listen and 
you have to write a note. Each of them, all right? So the first one, I, I just give you example now, the first one. Okay, now let's just listen. Tape script 2.8. Free time activities. John. My favorite hobby is cooking. Okay, number one, my favorite hobby is cooking. And the rest, I want you to listen and write a note by yourself. Is it okay, everyone? It's okay, sir. I will play two times for you. Here we go. Tape script 2.8. Free time activities. John. My favorite hobby is cooking. And that's a thing you do at home, obviously. I cook most days, though not every day. We also like eating out, you see. What clothes and equipment do I need? Uh, well, I always wear a chef's apron to protect my clothes because you can't make a mess when you're cooking. And tomatoes and spices change the color of your clothes forever. The most important piece of equipment is knives. I'm very fussy about my knives. They're German and very sharp, and I really look after them. Obviously, in the kitchen, you need all sorts of things like pots and pans and casserole dishes and chopping boards and food mixers. But I don't really have a lot of gadgets. I like to keep things simple. What I like about cooking is the fact that it's creative and it's real. We have to eat and what we eat is really important. So I like to know that what I'm eating and what my family is eating is good. I actually like all the preparation, going out shopping, seeing the food, feeling it, smelling it, talking to the people who are selling it. It's half the fun. People often ask me what I like cooking, and uh, I don't really have an answer. Whatever looks good, and whatever I feel like cooking that day. The best bit is, of course, seeing people enjoy my food. But what's also very important to me is seeing everyone happy and enjoying being at the table. It's about the occasion as much as the food. Okay, so now let's listen again. Tape script 2.8. Free time activities. John. My favorite hobby is cooking, and that's a thing you do at home, obviously. I cook most days, though not every day. We also like eating out, you see. What clothes and equipment do I need? Uh, well, I always wear a chef's apron to protect my clothes because you can't make a mess when you're cooking. And tomatoes and spices change the color of your clothes forever. The most important piece of equipment is knives. I'm very fussy about my knives. They're German and very sharp, and I really look after them. Obviously, in the kitchen, you need all sorts of things like pots and pans and casserole dishes and chopping boards and food mixers. But I don't really have a lot of gadgets. I like to keep things simple. What I like about cooking is the fact that it's creative and it's real. We have to eat and what we eat is really important. So I like to know that what I'm eating and what my family is eating is good. I actually like all the preparation, going out shopping, seeing the food, feeling it, smelling it, talking to the people who are selling it. It's half the fun. People often ask me what I like cooking, and uh, I don't really have an answer. Whatever looks good, and whatever I feel like cooking that day. The best bit is, of course, seeing people enjoy my food. But what's also very important to me is seeing everyone happy and enjoying being at the table. It's about the occasion as much as the food. Okay, everyone. Now, where and when he does it? Where and when he cook? Who has the answer? Please provide. Okay, I will ask. Okay, anyone can give me the answer if you have, please. We cook at home and not every day. Not every day. Yeah, yeah. Not every day means cook only one day a week or what? Most, 
most day. Yeah, you should say most day, right? He cook at home, right? And most day, but he also enjoy eating out. Okay, how about clothes and equipment? Chef apron and knife. Chef ap apron and knife. Okay. All right. So clothes and equipment. He wears a, a chef apron to keep his clothes clean. Tomatoes and spices change the colors of his clothes. Uh, very flashy about his knife. German knife. Very sharp. Also use pot and pans. Casserole dishes. Chopping boards. Food mixers doesn't have a lot of gadgets he doesn't have a lot of gadget mean very simple okay how about the last one oh what he like about it so what he likes about it everyone yeah hello please provide the answer i don't get it sir. you don't get it so how about other student we send again together. Tape script? Drill dishes and chopping boards and food mixers, but I don't really have a lot of gadgets. I like to keep things simple. What I like about cooking... What I like about cooking... Is the fact that it's creative. Is the fact that it is creative. Oh, already now. And it's real. And it's real, okay? So what I like about it, it's creative and it's real. People have to eat every day and also enjoy shopping, closing, uh, what to cook. How about the best bit? The best bit? Hello? Oh, the best oh. bit is uh, he's seeing people enjoy his food. Okay, seeing people enjoy his food, seeing people happy at the table and enjoy the occasions. All right, very good. So this is just only the heading. Okay, do you have any question with this, everyone? Uh, I hope you practice listening to the tapes, you know, after class, when you have the free times, um, before you take a nap or before you play games. You should spend time to watch the video here, listen to the tapes, practice listening, practice speaking, you know. Uh, the more you do that, the more you improve yourself. Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is everyday English. Making small talk. All right. When do we make small talk? With who? About what about? So I want to hear this from uh, Siwatra. Siwatra. No, so what? Uh, yeah. Okay, when do you make small talk? Sorry, Cha, my. My what? Sorry, teacher, and then. Okay. Okay, how about Chai Li? Chai Li? When do you make small talk? Oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, so I will ask. Okay, come hop, come hop. When do you yes. make small talk? I make small talk when I'm in public. Like you're in public, like you are at the bus stop, you are at the market. You make small talk with people around you. Yes. Sir. Oh, okay, you are very friendly then. Yes. Yeah, you talk with people. <laughs> Small talk means you spend for a short time talk about something else, right? And yeah. and with who? With who? With who? With strangers. With strangers about what? Sometimes, sometimes we talk about anything, like the weather. Oh, you talk about the weather. You talk about what else? COVID nineteen. Yeah. Also about... COVID nineteen. Yes, sir. Yes, and you don't 
you don't wear the mask and you go and talk to stranger. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, now I, now I, I don't do that. Yeah, it's yeah, you COVID don't do that. Okay, because of COVID-19, you cannot go out public and talk to strangers. It's very dangerous, yes. correct? Yes. You have to wear a mask. Okay, thank you very much. How about Mr. Bissett again? Mr. Bissett? Oh, Mr. Bissett is on hold, sorry. So I will call Savai. Savai? Savai. Yeah, teacher. Okay. When do you make small talk? Uh, when I have free time. When you have free time. With uh, who? With when? See with my sister. With sister? Yeah. Boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, boyfriend, you make small talk. You have to speak long, longer, not small talk, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, about what? Normally you speak with your sister. What do you speak about? About about cosmetic, about clothes, about um, about yeah. lotion. Yeah. Okay, something. Lotion. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so now listen to listen. Okay, read and listen to a conversation between Anne and Leah. Where are they and what is Leah doing there? Okay, so now I don't want you to. Okay, you can answer these two questions here. Where are they? Okay, so just read, read this one. I think you can spend around three minutes. I want you to read the whole thing here uh, from the top until uh, the bottom here. And I want you to answer two questions. All right. Uh, here. Where are they and what is Leah doing there? So now, can you read and answer the question? I give you three minutes. Two questions. Where are they first? And what is Leah doing? So you have three minutes. All right, please. I will check the answer at 6.40.
Okay, so can you answer the question right now? Where are they? Liverpool. Yes, they are in Liverpool. And what is Leah doing there? Hello? What is Leah doing there? Oh, my student, what happened? Yeah? Leah's what? Attending the conference here, see? Attending the conference here. So he joined the conference. Okay, so now let's go to our main exercise. Now they want you to listen to this exercise and then they want you to write the full sentences. Okay, write the full sentences. You can look at number one. So what do you think of Liverpool layers? Really interesting. Old city, lovely building, people so friendly. And then you have to write in full sentences. Now I will play the tape for you and you listen and see how they do it. Okay, here we go. Tape script 2.9. Making small talk. So what do you think of Liverpool, Lars? It's really interesting. Liverpool's such an old city, isn't it? There are some lovely buildings and the people are so friendly. Yeah. OK, so you can see here. Actually, we don't have this. This is the same Paul answer. Right now, you have to do the rest of the thing here by yourself. You have to write the full sentences of each answer from Lars. Do you understand everyone? Yes. OK, please write them in your notebook because they are very long. So now I will play, I will play the tape two times for you. You can listen and write them down in your notebook. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, for sure. OK, very good. Tape script 2.9. Making small talk. So what do you think of Liverpool, Lars? It's really interesting. Liverpool's such an old city, isn't it? There are some lovely buildings and the people are so friendly. Yes, they are, aren't they? When did you get here? Two days ago. I got the plane from Oslo. We were a bit late landing, but it didn't matter. Oh, good. Where are you staying in Liverpool? At the Grand Hotel. It's very convenient for the office. My room isn't very big, but it's OK. What a pity. Never mind. Uh, where are you from? Well, from Norway. I was born in Bergen, but I live in a suburb of Oslo. It's very pretty, and it's not far from the sea. Really? Sounds beautiful. Your English is very good. Where did you learn it? That's very kind of you, but I know I make a lot of mistakes. I learned it at school for years, and I've been to England quite a few times. Oh, have you? How interesting. And what are you doing here in Liverpool, Lars? I'm attending a conference. I'm here for five days and I'm going home on the 17th. Oh, so soon. And have you managed to get around our city yet? I haven't seen very much. I've been for a walk along the riverside and I've taken a ferry across the Mersey. But I haven't seen the Beatles exhibition yet. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Don't work too hard. I'll try to enjoy myself. Bye. It was nice to talk to you. All right. OK, so one more time. Here we go. Tape script 2.9. Making small talk. So what do you think of Liverpool, Lars? It's really interesting. Liverpool's such an old city, isn't it? There are some lovely buildings and the people are so friendly. Yes, they are, aren't they? When did you get here? Two days ago. I got the plane from Oslo. We were a bit late landing, but it didn't matter. Oh, good. Where are you staying in Liverpool? At the Grand Hotel. It's very convenient for the office. My room isn't very big, but it's OK. What a pity. Never mind. Where are you from? Well, from Norway. I was born in Bergen, but I live in a suburb of Oslo. It's very pretty, and it's not far from the sea. Really? Sounds beautiful. Your English is very good. Where did you learn it? That's very kind of you, 
but I know I make a lot of mistakes. I learned it at school for years, and I've been to England quite a few times. Oh, have you? How interesting. And what are you doing here in Liverpool, Lars? I'm attending a conference. I'm here for five days, and I'm going home on the 17th. Oh, so soon. And have you managed to get around our city yet? I haven't seen very much. I've been for a walk along the riverside, and I've taken a ferry across the Mersey. But I haven't seen the Beatles exhibition yet. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Don't work too hard. I'll try to enjoy myself. Bye. It was nice to talk to you. Okay. Now... Yes, they are, and they. When did you get there? So, what is it? Hello. Hello, sir. Two yes. days ago. Yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. I got the I got the plane from Oslo. We were. Oh, it was a bit late landing, but it didn't matter. Is it correct? Okay, two days ago, I got the plan from Oslo. We were a bit late landing, but it didn't matter. Oh, good. Where are you staying in Liverpool? What is it? No answer, everyone. <laughs> okay, come hawk. No answer. Uh, at the Grand Hotel. It was, uh, it, it, it's very convenient for the office, but it's okay. Okay, at Grand Hotel, it's very convenient for the office. My room isn't very big, but it's okay. Okay, uh, what's a pity? Never mind. Where are you from? Yes? Ah. No one help me. From Norway. From, from Norway. Norway. Okay. Yeah, from Norway. I'm from what Norway. Was... I was born in Bergen. I live in the suburb of Oslo. Okay, Wales from Norway. I was born in Bergen, but I live in a suburb of Oslo. It's very pretty and it's not far from Z. Okay, how about number, uh, the next one, really? It sounds beautiful. Your English is very good. What did, where did you learn it? That, that very kind of you, right? That very kind of you. I know I made a lot of mistakes, okay? Okay, it's that very kind of you. But I know I made a lot of mistakes. I learned it at school for years. And I've been to England quite a few times. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Um, oh, have you? How interesting. And what are you doing here in Liverpool? Okay, what is it? I'm attending a conference. I'm attending the conference. Yes. I'm attending the conference. What else? I am here for five days. I'm going home on the 17th, right? Okay. Oh, so soon. And have you managed to get around the city yet? Okay. All right. I've seen very much. I've been for a walk along the riverside and I've taken a ferry across the Mercy, but I haven't seen battle exhibition yet. And the last one, I try to enjoy myself. Bye. It was nice to talk to you. Okay, so now I want to practice a conversation, and this time I would like to practice with. Uh, okay, I want to practice with uh, Savai. Okay, Savai, please. So where you are, La, and I am at. Hello, so why? Yeah, the chat. Okay, here we go. Let's start. 
So what do you think of Liverpool is? Uh, it's really, it really interesting. Liverpool's such an OTT is isn't it? There are some lovely buildings and the people are so friendly. Yes, they are, aren't they? What did you get there? Oh, what did you get here? Two days ago, I got I got to plan from from also. We we were a, we were a bit late landing, but it's this but it doesn't matter. Oh, good. Where you stay in Liverpool? At the Grand at the Grand Hotel. It very convenient. Convenient. Convenient for an office. My room isn't very big, but it's okay. What's a pity? Never mind. Where are you from? Well, from Norway, I was born in Biggen, but I will, but I live, I live in the sub, suburb. Suburb. Of, suburb of, also, it's very pretty. And it's not far from the sea. Okay, really? It sounds beautiful. Your English is very good. Where did you learn it? Every kind of you, but no, I make a lot of mistakes. I learned it's I learned it's at school for a year. And I and I've been to England quite a week. For a few times. Ten. Oh, have you? How interesting. And what are you doing here in Liverpool, Les? I'm attending a conference. I'm here for a Friday and going to home on the 13th. So, 17th. Oh, so soon. Have you managed to get around the city yet? I haven't seen very much. I've been for a week along to Freeside and I've taken a fit ferry across, across ferry the Mercy. Of Mercy, but I haven't seen the bad situation. It's just yet. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Don't work too hard. I will try to enjoy myself, but it's for sign to talk with you. All right. Thank you very much. Now I want one more peer to practice. And this time, uh, Mr. Pissett, you are aunt and uh, Sringi, you are Leas. Okay, let's start. Tell me anything. No, no, no. Okay, Yeah. Okay. Let's start with that. Oh. Uh, so, what do you think of Liverpool plus? Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, we can okay. hear you, but Sringi, we cannot hear from her. What happened? Yes. Okay, so if Sringi is not available, I think I will ask. Uh, Where can you have, please? You are glass. Me, right, teacher? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, please start uh, again. So what do you think of Liverpool plus? Oh, what happened? Um, real, it's really interesting. Liverpool, such as old city, it is it 
Isn't it? There are some lovely buildings and the people are so friendly. Yes, they are. And they, when did you get there? Um, two days ago, I got a plane from Oslo. We were a bit late landing, but it didn't matter. Oh, good. Where are you staying in Liverpool? Um, at the Grand Hotel, it's very con convenient for the office. My room is very big, but it's okay. What a pity. Never mind. Where are you from? Well, I'm from um from Norway. I was born in Bagan, but I live in a suburb of Oslo. It's very pretty and it's not far from the sea. Really? It sounds beautiful. The English is very great. Where did you learn it? That's very kind of you, but I know I've made a lot of mistakes. I learned it in school for a year and I've been to England quite a few times. Oh, how you? How interesting. And what are you doing here in Liverpool plus? I'm attending a conference. I'm here for five days and I'm going home on the 17th. Oh, so soon. And have you managed to get around our city yet? I haven't seen very much. I have I have been for a walk along the riverside and I've taken a ferry across the Michigan, but I haven't, I haven't seen the best exhibition yet. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Don't work too hard. I will try to enjoy myself. Bye. It was nice to talk to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you have any question about this conversation, everyone? All right, you may not have right now, so we can continue yeah. to the next one. OK, let's go and see. All right, so work with a partner. Use the prompt to practice the conversation. Listen again. How well did you hear this? But that's OK. Now we just look at this one spoken English, softening a negative comment. Now sometimes you are you know, you don't like the service or there are a lot of problems happen along the way and you don't want to say it so negative, then how can you make it lighter? How can you make it friendly? OK, now look at this one. In conversation, we sometimes don't want to sound too negative. We soften negative comment. For example, we were late landing. And my room is tiny. So we were late landing. It is negative. Let. And my room is tiny, very, very small. Now, if you want to make it softer, we were a bit late landing. Okay? It sounds okay now. My room isn't very big, but it's okay. Okay. So you make it you make it sound better, sound a bit more positive. And this one negative and this one more like positive. OK, so you can look at the example down here. We have six statements and we have words in the bracket for you to use them. Now, number one is expensive. Number two is hard. Number three is cold. Number four, they're rude. Number five, I learn very little. Number six, there's nothing to do. So how can you make them uh, softer? Okay, now let's go look at number one together. Number one, 
it's expensive and we have bit so what is it you can say it what can you say with number one here it's a bit yeah it's a bit oh well come all then i wish to give you i did not okay so you can say number one it's a bit expensive okay guys and number two until number six i want you to do it by yourself and this time i think you have to think it's not that easy so i'm gonna give you some one minutes okay and I want you to write the answer in your notebook and we're going to check the answer at 708. All right. Do you have a question about the exercise now? If you don't have, please do it. Write the answer in your notebook. OK. OK, or not? OK, sir. All right. Thank you.
Okay, everyone, now let's check the answer together. Now, number two. Number two, what is it? Number two. Hello? Can you help me with number two? It's number two, it's quite hard. Now, what happened now? Oh, this one. Number two, it's quite hard, right? It's quite hard. Okay, how about number three? It's warm. It's warm. It's warm, not warm. It's warm, right? This is your yes. answer? Okay. How about number four? They are friendly. They, they are friendly. Oh, opposite already. Yeah. Why? It's so opposite. And number three here also wrong. It is opposite, not not correct one. You see here, number one, uh, it's expensive and it's a bit expensive. It's still expensive, but only a bit. Yeah? You change the meaning already now. It's completely different. So number four and number three, not really correct. How about number five? Hello? No answer? Okay. How about look at my answer here? It's a bit expensive. It's quite hard. It isn't very warm, okay? They aren't very friendly. So the meaning is still the same, still the same. Same, okay? But this one sound positive and this one sound negative. They aren't very friendly. Okay, I don't earn very much. There isn't very much to do. Okay, Vulnerable Magara, I want you to read the answer again, please. It's a bit expensive. It's quite hot. It isn't very warm. They aren't friendly, very friendly. I don't know very much. There isn't very much to do. Okay, oh, what happened at your place? <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Okay, now we go to the next one. We're going to finish our lesson today. And uh, I'm not going to play uh, the answer here for you, the answer. So I'm going to play the tape for you here. You can uh, practice and uh, listen to the, the tape here, all right? And you can practice reading the script here along as well. Here we go. I just want you to practice listening and reading along. Tape script 2.11. One. Who do you work for? Siemens. I've been with them for four years. They're a good company. How about you? Two. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. It's quite hard, but I enjoy the challenge. I don't earn very much. What about you? Do you like your job? Three. Where do you come from? I was born in Montreal, and I've lived there all my life with my parents. I'd like to live abroad sometime. Four. Have you been to New York? No, I haven't, but I'd love to. I've heard it's one of the most amazing cities in the world. Have you been there? Five. What do you do when you're not working? Well, I like horse riding and I play golf and I love music, so I often go to concerts. Do you? Six. The weather's amazing at the moment, isn't it? Yes, it's so mild. We haven't had any really cold weather at all. Have you heard a weather forecast for the weekend? It's supposed to be good, isn't it? Seven. Are you having a holiday this year? Yes, I'm going to Mexico with some friends. I haven't been there before, so I'm really looking forward to it. What about you? Eight. This city's very exciting, isn't it? Really? Do you think so? There isn't very much to do. I get so bored here. Oh. 
What do you find to do? Nine. What's your favourite programme on television? I haven't got a favourite, but I like soaps and documentaries and quiz shows and the news. I suppose I like everything. What about you? OK, so now let's listen again. After this, I will ask some of you to practice. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry. Tape script 2.11. One. Who do you work for? Siemens. I've been with them for four years. They're a good company. How about you? Two. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. It's quite hard, but I enjoy the challenge. I don't earn very much. What about you? Do you like your job? Three. Where do you come from? I was born in Montreal and I've lived there all my life with my parents. I'd like to live abroad sometime. Four. Have you been to New York? No, I haven't, but I'd love to. I've heard it's one of the most amazing cities in the world. Have you been there? Five. What do you do when you're not working? Well, I like horse riding and I play golf and I love music, so I often go to concerts. Do you? Six. The weather's amazing at the moment, isn't it? Yes, it's so mild. We haven't had any really cold weather at all. Have you heard a weather forecast for the weekend? It's supposed to be good, isn't it? Seven. Are you having a holiday this year? Yes, I'm going to Mexico with some friends. I haven't been there before, so I'm really looking forward to it. What about you? Eight. This city's very exciting, isn't it? Really? Do you think so? There isn't very much to do. I get so bored here. Oh. What do you find to do? Nine. What's your favourite programme on television? I haven't got a favourite, but I like soaps and documentaries and quiz shows and the news. I suppose I like everything. What about you? All right. Thank you very much. And now I want to ask some student to practice. Uh, when they ball, uh, Soria, you are A. And Kuntia, you are B. OK, let's start. OK, Chair. Who do you work for? Oh, Kuntia is not available. How about uh, Charlie? Hello, Charlie? Yeah, teacher. You are B, you are B. Okay, read louder. <laughs> again, Jay? Yeah, again. Who do you work for? Simon. I've been with them for four years. they a good company. How about you? Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. It's quite hard, but I enjoy the challenge. I don't earn very much. What about you? Do you like your job? Where do you come from? I was born in Montreal, Montreal and I lived there all my life with my parents. I like to live abroad sometimes. Have you been to New York? No, I haven't, but I love to. I heard it one of the most amazing city in the world. Have you been there? What do you do when you're not working? Well, I like horse riding and I play golf and I love music. So I often go to concert. Do you? The weather's amazing at the moment, isn't it? Yes, it's so mild. We haven't had any really cool weather at all. Have you heard a weather uh, forecast for the weekend? It's supposed to be good, isn't it? 
Are you having a holiday this year? Yes, I'm going to Mexico with some friend with some friends. I haven't been there before, so I'm really looking looking forward to it. What about you? This city is very exciting, isn't it? Really? Do you think so? There isn't very much to do. I get so bored here. What do you find the job to do? What's your favorite program on television? I haven't got a favorite, but I like shoots and documentary and quiz show and the news. I suppose I like everything. What about you? That's it. All right. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, we finish our unit two and uh, next week we are going to have a midterm test everyone. Midterm and how do we do midterm? So the way we do midterm is different from the way we do a uh, quiz or whatever here. So all the midterm or anything gonna be done. Uh, gonna be done on Microsoft team. OK, gonna be done on Microsoft team. For example, I will do this for you. I will just go and set assignment. Right. I think some of you, some OK, we, we 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 did that right last time here. Some of you did a monthly test. Monthly test were different here. You did it here uh, for monthly test. Only 15 student turn in and for a world of different here and monthly test computer here. 21 student. So here's a 20, 21 student. Let's see who did it and who didn't do it. From last week. Not last week, long time ago, this one. So I can see here, Kamha did not do it. Um, and Ratana also did not do it. Sadet, Kamsa, and the one who did it here, some student led. So I want to check uh, who I want to check. So let me check uh, Soknit here. So I want to check Soknit. And then I can see, um, okay, where she make mistake and other thing. And this one I have to give her mark. I have to read and give her marks, okay? So our midterm gonna be similar to this. And um, and I want to show you the video how to do the midterm, uh, how to do the test as well. Okay. The live, let's have a look at uh, the video. I will share the video to you as well. And oh, you can just watch this video clip and then you're gonna get, okay, this one here. OK, let's watch. If you have question, you can ask. OK, this is example midterm. Now, if you do it on your your computer, it look like this. If you do it on your mobile phone, it look like this. OK, this is on your mobile phone. OK, now John and Vivian in Baltimore City till Friday. Stay or are staying? Yeah. For example, are staying. Just give you an example. You can click like that. You just press on that one. That is your answer. And then you click on next. Next, if there are some exercise here, you have to do it as well. And then you click on next. And this one, uh, I'm afraid Sujita can can what? Can the agenda is on cell conference? Can make the meeting today? Okay, I, I like this one. So I continue to the next one. So the next one, you have to watch the video. There are a lot of questions, but I give you example how to do it. Okay. Okay. Now after I watch the video, I say, okay, this one is the answer. And then I click on next. Okay, guy. So when I click on next, and then uh, this question: online professional profile. So question number four: What are the tips of writing an online professional profile? This one you can see it in the book textbook. So this one you have to write on a piece of paper. Write on a piece of paper after you finish. You take a photo of that piece and upload here. You just click on this one. And then you can upload your answer. For example, I want to upload this one. This is my answer. This is a photo, so I upload this one. You can upload PDF or Word, also no problem. So once you upload, you see only the the what we call here the trust bin, meaning to say that your answer already upload successfully. So I have to upload 
and then okay this one i have to write my professional profile okay so i have to upload again just give you an example i upload my answer okay okay and then i upload my answer again i finish my answer everything okay i upload this one word this one i write in microsoft word so i upload microsoft word okay then i upload this one okay this one i do it in a pdf so i upload pdf for example okay let's give example okay after i then i the last one doesn't turn here okay so the last one this is the last one so example i submit okay just use uh, this one okay now i submit every I, I did everything my work so after i finish i just click on submit and then finish understand everyone and you can see the result here as well okay you can see the result i get only one mark <laughs> all right but uh, why one mark? Because this one, you, the teacher need to correct first. For true and false multiple choice here, we know the mark. We see the answer. Oh, the answer, this one is correct. The answer. But for this one, I have to read and give you the mark. Okay, can you follow everyone now? Hello? Yes, yeah, Okay, this, this is an example. And next sessions. We're gonna start at 10 20. I will, I will uh, drop the link for you to go and do the midterm. You just click on that one and click on view. And okay, uh, this is just only the video that I record for the student who study in the morning. And uh, you're gonna do the same thing for your midterm. All right, guys. Hello, any questions? Do you have any questions? No. OK, so if you don't have questions today, I'm not going to teach you more. So we finish unit two. I'm going to give you uh, an early break and you can relax and enjoy your life. OK, guys, thank you very much. See you again. See you again next week. Don't forget, we're going to yes. have midterm test. Bye bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Paul. Yeah, bye bye. Good luck. Goodbye, everyone. Marie, bye bye. Marie is not here. Okay.